So hey everyone, welcome to Arizona Drone. I'm Rich Charpentier and today I am in the Arizona Drone mobile studio, aka my Airstream. Uh, in addition to doing drone work and web work, I'm also a full-time RVer, uh, a full-time Airstreamer. And so this is my mobile studio. So today Greg's not with us. Uh, it's uh, Easter weekend and so I decided to do this recording because several days ago um, Greg and I had mentioned in one of our more recent um, video posts that we'd be talking further about different uh, software applications for drone work. So when we finished up our video recording at the studio, um, Greg had suggested, hey, you're pretty good with the uh, the panos and the 360 panos and the tiny planets. You want to talk about that and using Litchi? And I said, absolutely. Um, I did the video and you'll be seeing it here on Arizona Drone. I did one quick video on one setup for panos. And as I was doing it, all these questions were popping into my head um, if I was uh, if I was not a Litchi user already. So it struck me. I said, we need to do a, um, a full series about Litchi because it offers so many different features. Um, it's not our go-to app for drone flight by any means, but it is a very useful app for uh, several, several things that you can do with drones. So one of which, uh, building panoramas, uh, Litchi does a pretty good job with that. Um, waypoint missions, Litchi is awesome with that. Um, the first person view, uh, just flying around by hand and recording video or taking photos. Um, while the DJI Go 4 app does that, Litchi does it as well. So I made the decision that we should probably talk about the Litchi basics first, the, the interface for Litchi, and then move on from there in a series of videos about the, uh, the different functions that uh, Litchi offers. So with that in mind, the remainder of this video is actually going to be on screen. We're going to look at the Litchi interface. We're not going to be connected to a drone. Um, we're just going to be looking through the options that Litchi offers us. And then following up from this video, the first video that you're going to see is going to be my panorama video that I did the other day. And it's just one way of doing panoramas, and we're going to walk you through the second way as well in an upcoming video. Unfortunately, today it is extremely overcast um, and windy here in Prescott, Arizona. So I most likely won't be doing any flights this afternoon. Maybe if the winds calm down later and it gets a little prettier outside, we can do the follow-up uh, pano uh, video. But um, in the meantime, take a look through this video it'll give you a little idea about what things you can do with the litchi app and then you can anticipate some software um, software tutorials on litchi coming from arizona drone over the next couple of days so stay tuned and i'll be putting a link in here to the um, litchi pano video that i shot the other day and also i'll be putting a link in here for a very long tutorial that Greg did um, on tracking himself running in the Granite Dells using Litchi and setting up a Litchi Waypoint mission. I will also be doing a full Litchi Waypoint mission as well because there are several ways to go at it, so both will be valuable. But right now on the site, you can check out um, Greg's long Litchi mission, and shortly after this video is posted, I'll have my Litchi Pano mission for you as well. So thanks for stopping into Arizona Drone, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. Okay, so I've pulled up the Litchi app, and we're gonna be talking about all the features on the Litchi app in this series. So not everything's gonna be covered in this one recording, and that's, that's okay. Um, there's a lot to cover with what Litchi has to offer. So let's just take a look at the interface. Right now I've got the map pulled up and you can see a black little box on the lower right hand side. I'm not connected to my drone right now so that's why I'm not getting any video feed from the drone. So when the drone is connected up we will actually see drone image in there and we can switch between the map and what is coming out of the drone. So on the top bar on the left hand side we have FPV for first person view. Currently if we're reading across the top bar the next thing is 
it says NA, and that is satellites because we're not connected to the drone, or satellites. The next item is our controller battery power. And right now, that's not applicable because we're not connected to the drone. And the next item says disconnected, so there you go. Then we've got the signal strength from our controller. And we've got our next signal strength. And finally, our um, battery for the drone. And right after that NA, we've got this cool little set of cogs. So this is for our settings. Um, if we look on the left-hand side below FPV, We've got uh, the course lock or home lock, and we also have the launch button for FPV. So, and finally, bottom lower left area, we have our altitude, how many feet we are, and we have our distance, how far away we are from the controller, our launch point, and finally our speed, zero miles per hour right now. So, what are all the options that Litchi gives us? Well, let's take a look under FPV really quick. So, we can do first-person view, we can create waypoint missions, we can create orbit missions. By the way, the waypoint missions are saveable and shareable. Uh, so our orbit missions and our panoramic missions, we can save those as well. And a focus on a point of interest, we can do that as well. And finally, tracking as well. So, Litchi offers us a lot. So. Like the DJI uh, Go 4 app, we can get in our first person view, we can fly around uh, by hand and start and stop recordings or start and stop uh, photos. And similar things can be said for all of these modes that we can um, take images or take video. Now the waypoint missions, we can actually pre-program a set of waypoints, a flight path, and have the drone execute that flight path. In an orbit mission, we can set an item to orbit, and then we can have the Litchi app orbit our, uh, our point of interest, uh, video that point of interest, or photograph that point of interest. On panoramics, we can create 360 panos, and we can also create tiny planets. Now, Pano has some extra features added recently from Litchi. Um, beta features where you can actually stitch your panoramics together in the Litchi app and we're gonna talk about that um, whether or not you want to use the Litchi app or a third-party software uh, focus it's going to maintain focus on a point of interest that you set so no matter where you fly or where you're heading um, focus is going to stay locked on to that particular point of interest tracking you can actually subject track someone or something and have the drone follow along so these are the uh these are the major features in litchi and we're going to cover each of them in an independent lesson each one will have its own lesson over on the right hand side upper corner we're going to take a look at settings really quick and so here are our settings we start out we can do imperial or metric we can do map type hybrid or we could just do uh, a standard map or we could do a satellite map it's up to you um, use a map imagery for China and the second one calibrate for China leave those off you can show your home orientation so there'll actually be a little home symbol on the screen you can even show your GPS coordinates change language and then we've got the app version uh, we've got to find my aircraft and reset all settings then we have a go home altitude. That is for return to home, the automatic return to home feature. When you're connected to your drone, you can set that. So usually I set mine at about 50 meters, which is about 350 feet. And then you can also define your maximum altitude. And you're gonna want to set that depending on the airspace that you're flying in. So then I've got my UA, uh, air data UAV user token and air data automatic sync. Air Data is a third-party service online that will collect all your flight information for you and give information about your drone, um, your batteries, your battery health, and more. Next, we have gimbal mode, so we can um, do the yaw follow, or we could do free or first-person view, but I always leave mine set to yaw follow for my Mavic Pro. G gimbal gesture control is on. Uh, vision positioning system is on. Front LEDs are on. And then you can set the camera to auto record so the moment that you launch your your uh, drone 
which he will start recording for you. That's useful sometimes and annoying other times. So it's going to be up to you to play with and try it out. You can cache videos onto your mobile device. So if you're using a smartphone or a tablet, you could cache your video direct to the mobile de device. I personally don't do that because I only have so much space on my smartphone. Um, enhanced display for D-Log filter, that's for filming. And then we have format the SD card if we'd like to clear out the SD card. Um, next we have enable speech. So from your smartphone or tablet it will talk to you about what's going on. And that's actually a useful feature. We also have a smart return to home warning on this page. So when it's time to start bringing your drone back in, you will be notified um, based on your battery level. Finally, we've got some customizable keys. So as you can see, the C1 key for my Mavic Pro, I've defined as focus to infinity. The C2 key, I've defined waypointed aircraft. That's for when I'm making waypoint missions, and we'll get in depth with that on the waypoint mission. Then you can do the C1 key a long press, which is disabled right now, but you could have it do something. And the C2 key, the same key that I use for creating waypoints, if I hold it in for a long press, it will create a point of interest. Once again, that's also for the waypoint missions. So that's the quick overview on Litchi. And inspired by my uh, Litchi Pano mission the other day, we will be going through each of these modes in an independent lesson so that you can really get a good first-hand view of what each of these features does. So first-person view is pretty straightforward. Waypoint is going to be a much longer lesson. Um, orbit won't be as long. Pano is pretty quick. But Pano is going to be basically two parts. One using a third-party app and one using Litchi's uh, beta stitching. So if I click on to Pano now, I've got several options on the left-hand side, and we're going to talk about those in the two different Pano Mission videos that we'll be doing for you. So that's a quick overview of Litchi, and if you do get Litchi, there is a great instruction manual that comes with it. Be sure to download the PDF from Litchi to help you understand all of the um, all of the tools that you have available to you. Litchi for iOS. Here's our table of contents. And we've got, ooh, 43 pages of information. But it's very valuable information. So if you really want to start using Litchi regularly for pre-programmed flights, panos, or just for flying around, you're definitely going to want to download this manual from the Litchi website. Yeah.